Hello my dear family and friends. Welcome to Siri Kitchen Moments. Hope you all are doing well. Let's begin our lovely and yummy show that stars Parmanam. Parmanam is a holy offering of food to God that is the ultimate true form of delicious food. So, literally, Parmanam or rice pudding is a traditional sweet that is a must to have on festivals and special traditional ceremonial occasions. As the festival Sankranti is right around the corner, let's see how to make parmanam with bellam, which is the rice pudding with jaggery. There are few variations in making parmanam. In today's version, for this Sankranti festival, let's tweak in sagubiyam along with rice, which is the tapioca pearls and rice together along with jaggery. To prepare, firstly, let's take one cup of rice in a bowl to it, add 1 4th cup sagubiyam, which is the tapioca pearls. Wash and drain the water twice. Then pour enough water covering rice and tapioca pearls and soak for 30 minutes. If there is no time, then you can just soak for 10 to 15 minutes and make parmanam. But if time permits, then it's always the best practice to soak at least for 30 minutes. Here. I soaked for 30 minutes as I wanted parmanam to be really soft which will just melt in the mouth at ease. Meanwhile, take 1.5 cups of jaggery and grate coarsely. Keep the grated jaggery aside. After the rice and tapioca pearls are soaked, they will double up in size and this is how it will look. Now from here on, there will be multiple cooking process that will be done parallelly. So firstly, take 5 cups of milk in a heavy bottomed vessel and let it boil on a nice low to medium flame, stirring occasionally in order not to burn the bottom of the vessel. Meanwhile, in another vessel, take 1.5 cups grated jaggery and pour half cup water to it and melt the jaggery on low flame. To the other end of our stuff, let the milk boil, rise and overflow out of the pot or vessel as it's considered as a good symbol of abundance prosperity. Once the milk overflows, turn to low heat and add soaked rice and tapioca pearls. Give a nice stir and let it cook. Remember to cook on low heat all through so that rice and tapioca pearls are cooked until well done. Stir occasionally. Now as our jaggery melted nicely and bubbling, that's when turn off the heat we need to strain the melted jaggery. Do not ever add melted jaggery directly to the hot rice and milk when it is cooking. Always strain the melted jaggery into another bowl to remove any impurities, dust or any minute unwanted particles that are hidden in the jaggery. So here you can see the melted jaggery is being strained into another bowl and we can see very minute particles in the strainer. So once we strain the melted jaggery, keep it aside. We will add this liquid to the rice and milk pudding at the very end. Save it for later. Now take a small pan, add ghee and let it melt. Once ghee is melted, add cashew nuts and fry until golden color. Then add golden raisins and fry on low heat. At the end, add sliced almonds and fry good. Turn off the heat and keep aside for later addition. Rice and milk along with tapioca pearls are nicely getting cooked on low heat, stirring occasionally. Pudding should not be too thick or too thin, but should be of a slight flowy consistency. This is the texture we are looking for. Once you get the right texture, then turn off the heat, add 2 teaspoons of cardamom powder and mix well. Then add a pinch of salt. The reason to add a pinch of salt is to enhance the taste for any traditional sweet. Mix well and now it's time to add melted and strained jaggery. Keep a note that melted jaggery needs to cool down completely before adding. Also add this melted jaggery only after rice and milk pudding is off of the flame. Add melted jaggery and mix everything well. Now it's time to garnish the ghee roasted dry fruits and nuts. Add them and combine the mix well and our traditional ultimately delicious parmanam is ready to be offered to God and for all of us to indulge later. Indulge in this age-old 
traditional prasadam for this year's bhogi and sankranti and have a great start to your festive days hope you like this prasadam recipe please like this video share to your loved ones subscribe to siri kitchen moments hit the bell icon for latest notifications and let me know your feedback and suggestions in the comment section hugs and love to you all from siri kitchen moments thank you